Well, hello everyone. George here. Hope you all are doing very well. Well, we're back at the table today. And we have our cards. We have our blocks. We have quite a bit of information that uh, has come about. And this reading today is about Katie Proudfoot. And uh, she is the mom to Sebastian's um, Sebastian Rogers. So, wanted to, uh, somebody requested the reading, and I decided, yes, let's, let's go ahead and see what the cards could do, can do. Now, first of all, let me start off by telling you this is entertainment, and that all is alleged, and my opinion, and not fact. And what that means is this is just speculation. And what you're about to see, well, it's just, you know, speculation. I do have the help with my good friend, Marilyn. She's a, uh, a psychic. Um, she's 82 years old. She's been my friend for a long time. She gives me... Um, information when I do these readings. Um, I do this as, as a hobby, and again, I am not a psychic. I am not a medium. I'm just a hobbyist. I love just seeing what the cards say. So, um, with that, without further ado, let's see if I can get my film to go, and Hello. here we go. Hello, spirits. Now we are on the board here, and like I said, this reading is going to be um, about Katie Proudfoot. I had asked the spirits if uh, they could give me some kind of information about uh, Katie Proudfoot. Maybe some information whether she knows the whereabouts of Sebastian Rogers, her son, or Maybe something that we can just take away from the whole reading. So, now I will tell you in readings, they don't always, the spirits don't always agree. They don't always, it's not always clear what they're trying to put out. But boy, folks, some of the stuff that's going to be coming out on this board is very interesting. So, and I like for you all to make your own decisions. So, if there's any, uh, anything on this board that you're going to see um you just put it in the comments i want to hear what your thoughts if there's any um if i have any uh psychic readers you know that's professional psychics i'd like to hear your reading too so this is the reading of uh katie proudfoot it is april the 6th 2024 when this reading is taking place and we still have no clue of where Sebastian is located. Hello, spirits. Now, when I ring the bell, that lets you know, uh, or that lets the spirits know that we want the bad spirits to go away. The good spirits are here, but the bell sound supposedly gets rid of the, uh, the bad spirits. Spirits. This here is for, this session is for Katie Proudfoot. The session is 0406-2024. Spirits, I request your presence. I request your presence to this session. If you have any information about Katie Proudfoot, the biological mom to Sebastian Rogers, if you could give us some sort of insight, some clues about what happened that night or of the disappearance of Sebastian, if you could just give us some sort of uh, reading. The now, what I'm doing right now, folks, is I'm requesting some assistance from the spirits. This is how Marilyn, my uh, psychic friend she told me to do that you bring in the uh, the spirits the phenomenons 
the ghost, angels, whatever you can get to come into your uh, session. And then after you're finished, you get rid of them. You release them. You tell them they, they can exit. She have knowledge of the disappearance. And this here is the EMF reader. It's a electronical magnetic energy reader. It just means that if there's some sort of energy in the, around this board, and most of the time there really is, as you can see, it's starting to pick up some. It kind of lets me know if there's something, some uh, uh, electronical spirit or some kind of inner energy that's around. Spirits, are you here? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. Looks like we've got a spirit. We'll keep that right there. If there's any bad spirits, go away. I only request good spirits in this reading. Yeah, definitely don't want any bad spirits. Never, ever. Spirits, we need a uh, gender card here. Now, these cards, folks, um, um, Marilyn, she uses uh, similar things like this to determine if there's a male, female, or just a neutral presence in the area. And uh, she told me that, you know, the cards like this, the spirits like to sometimes help us know what, what kind of spirit um, is around the board, like what they were when they were living, whether they're a male, female. And now if it's a neutral, sometimes it will just be, um, it, it just means that there's maybe a male and a female where they just can't answer or won't answer. And I roll the dice on my um, uh, sessions here. I roll the dice. And that way, supposedly, that gives the uh, spirits or whatever a, a opportunity to stop the dice, possibly, and, you know, and get us a true reading. Either male, female, or neutral. Let us know. Let us know what this session's about. Is it about a male? Is it about a female? Is it neutral? Do we have a female or a male spirit here? Or do you just can't say? I'm going to roll the dice. Spirits? One to three. One to three. One. So it'd be that one. I'll go from the left to the right. All right, Spirit, you didn't waste no time there. Let's see what you got here. Now, folks, that started, I'm starting to get a little chill here. We got a male present. Now, don't know what that means for sure, but that's a very interesting start. <laughs> okay, we have a male here. <laughs> okay. Thank you, spirits. Okay. Now, spirits, we need a fortune teller here to get us started here. We have four fortune tellers. As you know, spirits, if you could uh, help me with a fortune teller, that's going to help us with our session here. Now, the uh, fortune tellers, I do have videos on each one of the fortune tellers. And uh, Marilyn uses uh, similar things like this to bring out uh, information and a guidance. And each one of these fortune tellers, they represent a uh, club, heart, spade, or diamond. So I'll, I'll, we'll go back, we'll go into more of that here in just a moment. Queen. One, four, give me a number, spirits. Five. Now, when the number doesn't come up that you're asking for, 
which I was asking either a 1, 2, 3, or 4. If it's a different number, sometimes it's from what Marilyn says, that it can be the, the spirits that's just trying to communicate, and they, and they just can't get that number out. But when that number comes up, that is supposedly the the belief is, is that is the spirits that is around you that's giving you the number that they want you to have. Spirits, I need a number between one and four. Four. One, See, two, we got four. a four come up. <laughs> Thank you, spirits. All right. Let's see who we have here. Oh, Lord. Here we go. <laughs> uh, love this card. Folks, this is Madame de Naiti. Um, she was the French lady. Let me show you here, get a better picture of her. This is her right here. And she was an old fortune teller. And she was a lady. She, she oh, grew a beard. And they called her the bearded lady. But she would read cards. And um, and she would perform in circuses and and all kind of thing, uh, all kind of things. But yeah, interesting story about her. I do have a video uh, on her. So, hello, hello, spirits. Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm it went back. Hello, spirits. Let's, let's speed up up here. I'm sorry about that. So just give us. Oh, I meant to hit the this not to do that. Sorry about that. So, and let me pause this. I'm going to fix this so that doesn't do that. Um, get this. There we go. All right. Now, maybe we can get this, but let's see. Let me get back to our thing. There we go. Okay. Madam Clementine DeLady. Yes, so. Uh, she represents the uh, spades. Yeah, and like I said, each one of the fortune tellers, they represent a, uh, a suit for the cards, for the cardamency cards. And um, we'll get a card here in just a few minutes, So, which is, ooh, wait till you see that one. Wait till you see both of the cards. Thank you, Spirits, for that. We'll get back to her here in just a moment. All right, so this is for Katie Proudfoot. Spirits, if you can, I need a card for Katie Proudfoot. One card of the uh, Spirit card, the Spirit Tarot cards. Now, I know that a lot of folks watching this, they uh, would say that, well, I've seen the uh, psychics and they do a lot of cards, and that is true. I asked Marilyn, can you get a story from just one card? And she said, yes. Oh, absolutely. You can get a real good story. Uh, when you go more cards, it's just it just kind of spreads that same story out. So, wait till you see this card. If you can just get me one card that will let us know about the situation of Katie Proudfoot. If you could just give us one card. Four. One, two, three, and four. Now, I do reversals uh, on the cards, on the Spirit Tarot cards. The Carnamese cards, which is to the right, that's the poker cards. I don't do reversals. All right, let's see. Our card is what it is, and if it's forward or reversed. Okay. <laughs> well, folks, there we go. That that is crazy. That is crazy. The five of wands. Oh, uh, the five of wands. We'll go. I'll go over this card and all everything that we're seeing here in just a little bit. But uh, yeah, um, this is this is well. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let me uh, get my card on on here if I can yeah the five of ones I want to make sure I got that okay let me show you what's going on with this so 
I'm sorry, I should have done had this had this. This is oh folks, this is an in, interesting card. First of all, let me get you a better look so you can see what we're doing. And um this is um uh, this card here is just it really tells a lot. I, I'm I'm telling you, it really does. Um so let's go to this. I'm gonna show you. So we have the five of wands. And let me show you what this card is saying, folks. Here we go. All right. And these are the different cards that I use throughout a reading. But uh, this is what it is. This is crazy. Um, the five of cards, or five, the five of wands upright. Now that's what it was. Uh, conflict, fighting, arguments, uh, disagreements, struggling. Uh, oppositions, battles, aggressions, temper, ooh, clashing with personalities, egos. Where have we heard this at? Ooh, uh, unruliness, uh, territorial. This, uh, oh, all these things that we have been hearing throughout some of the podcasts, YouTube's, everything. Wow, frustration. This is a so this is the general meaning of it uh, for upright. In a general context, the five of one represents roles, arguments, conflicts, fighting, and disagreements. It signifies struggling opposition oppositions, battles, aggressions, um, and temper. Mm, oh boy. <laughs> this minor arcana card represents clashing personalities or egos pent up the energy and aggression irritation and frustration you can expect a lack of cooperation um lack of cooperation uh pentless strikes chaos and unruliness when it appears in the terror reading it also represents being rough defensive or territorial and can whoops hang on just a minute and can signify competition and sports so folks that is a crazy crazy uh, reading right there that that card came up so let's continue on to that thank you spirits okay the five of wands very good conflict thank you spirits wow. okay now, we need the cardamency card here. Spirits, if you can get me a cardamency card. Oops. Was, turn backwards. <laughs> hmm, that's interesting. All right, I fixed that. The spirits are really wanting to show some. Now, the cardamency cards, for the ones who are not sure about that, it's basically poker cards. Um, a deck of 52. There's no jokers in this uh, deck. But uh, it can tell kind of the prediction from the past, present, and the future. And just remember, folks, this whole reading, as Marilyn has told me to say, that it that can, with all the things and the elements, it can represent from the past to the present to what could be in the future. So something here, so. Okay, spirits, give me a card. Give me a card. Three, one, two, and three. And remember, spirits, there is no reversals on these, so. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. The two of spades, folks. That, I, oh boy. Um. Let me get you a closer look so you can see this card here. This is the Two of Spades. And this um, really just a crazy of that this came up. Um, let's, so let's go to here so you can sh I'll show you. This is what this card says. Anger, arguing, fighting, separation, disagreement discussion situations speaking to you, your demons old 
ways, fighting your beliefs, bad blood between family. Oh boy, folks. Old wars confronting your evil self. Now the card also says states that it's a uh, Illinois, it's the state in the country of South Africa. And I'm not sure why they had put that on there, but the card could mean something to this situation. We don't know that for sure, but okay, so the spades we uh to uh corresponding to the solid element of earth. Uh, provides the most concrete example of opposition within the twos. A anger and possibility disappointment card represents an opposition of war, a dispute. It can mean that you and someone else are at odds. No kidding. Maybe you're facing, you're facing your own demons. The two of spades means separation. It represents deceive gossip and backstabbing it can also mean a diff difficult change that is going to be happening in a relationship or a job or a life situation folks what is this card telling us now like i said um the uh, fortune teller Cle uh, madam clementine delaty this is her message from this card she, all the fortune tellers, they will have a message um, from every card. So this is her message from this particular card. It says, your message from this card is once you believe, once you replace negativity, negative thoughts with positive ones, you'll start having positive results. Well, that is a very good message. This message is possibly from the what, what was, what is, or what could be. Thanks for listening to my message today. Please be aware of your upcoming travels. Be safe and good evening. Wow. How about that, folks? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, continuing on. So now we've got two fight-eating cards, folks. What is the possibility of that oh, happening? Boy. Yeah. Crazy. That says a lot. Look at there. Two of spades. Fighting card. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Okay, spirits. I have the blocks here. Now, what's coming up is the ghost blocks. Folks, this tells a story of a whole new dimension. So we have Katie Proudfoot. Today is... This reading is April 6, 2024. We have a male present here. And we have our, our blocks. And this is our ghost blocks, spirits. How many blocks to tell a, tell a story of what may help us understand the situation or what's going on with Katie Proud? But what, how many blocks? Four. It is inter interesting that this came up. This is the number two. Um, so, and if, this is crazy, folks. Didn't Sebastian leave or get become missing in the uh, second month of, I mean, in February? I'm thinking, yep. I don't know what this means. Don't know what it's trying telling us, but yeah, that's the red dice. Ooh, okay. Okay, we got the, we got the star. I'll bring up what these mean here in just Ooh. a moment. Oh, we and got there. fruit. Yeah. Something to eat there, and one more here, spirits. Ooh. Ooh. The shadow. shadow, boy, oh boy, folks. <laughs> okay, so let me do this. Okay, first of all, the number two, like I said, it uh, it will record it, it it will it means like 
two things, you know, it can be two people, but it can be two weeks, two months, two years. It's something about the two. So, but the star, let me show you a little bit about the star. This is what the star represents. Uh, star, falling, solar system, bright, lucky, meteor, zodiac, fortune teller, planets, enter entertainer, uh, fast travel, and films. Now, I don't exactly know what this is telling us for sure, but I can tell you we have the solar eclipse coming full-fledged on Monday, right? Um, I don't know if it just if that has something to do with it, if there, if maybe, maybe we're going to get some new news when this happened, but, um, or this might be trying to just tell us, you know, something about the situation that, uh, uh, but of course we got fortune tellers on there. So that is very interesting on that. So let's go back to this and then I'll bring up the other one. Now the the apple, you know, I don't know, I don't know what that that was for, but maybe you all, if you can figure this out, maybe you do know what this means. But, but like I said, all this is just speculation. But we have um, we have fruit, religion, uh, food supply, gardening, orchard, farming, good versus evil. And cookie. I'm going to say good versus evil on this one. This may be what we're what it's trying to tell us. Hmm. What do you think, folks? That's an interesting one. And then on the final one, that the shadow. Now that one really, <laughs> it really came up. So let's show you here. Sh uh, the, of course, the shadows, frightening, lost, evil. Bad intentions, death, being followed. What do you think? Who is this talking to? Who is this talking about? Hmm. That's a that is a interesting and 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 just know you know look at the the block. We got a child. We got a I mean a little person. We got a shadow, evil person behind. So, well this this says something here. It really does. So let's move on to shadow. So we have the yeah. number two dice, as you can see. I don't know if that means February. Yeah, I don't the know. Star. But it means, but it could mean two people. And what have we been talking about this whole situation that, um, you know, two people have caused chaos. Yes, they have. We have fruit. I'll get back into this here. And, we'll... and this one is very interesting. The shadow. shadow. I'm thinking that the fruit could mean also, um, I know that um, Marilyn said it, that it's an appetite vision. That it means that our answers, we need to, we need, we need to know answers and we got an appetite for that. So she said, she said she thought that could be what that meant. Mean. Somebody's, somebody's following somebody. Okay, spirits. Bad spirits go away. So the next thing that we're going to do on this board, and it's going to be the message bag. Folks, the message bag is one of the most unique things that I use uh, when I'm doing these. And I made up this whole board and everything because of uh, kind of a Halloween thing that uh, that we friends and I we would get together, but Marilyn, my psychic friend, said that believe it or not, everything that I have created here, the spirits can communicate perfectly. They love stuff like this, and this bag coming up, they really enjoy that. So, and the bag has like a over a thousand and something messages in the bag so whatever comes out of that bag it's just going to be random so but it could mean something and finally spirits we have the message bag 
and let me get this over here so you can see. So, as you know, folks, we have a thousand messages here. Hopefully you can see that good. Spirits, give me a number of how many messages to pull out of the bag that can tell us a situation with Katie Proudfoot that we, that we need to try to understand. Two messages, okay. All right. And this one kind of fell in place there. So. Yeah, this bag, when I bring all this to my friends, boy, they are just so intrigued. And they're so just like, it's zoned in on everything. And you can see why. I mean, it's a, it's a lot going on here. All right, let's see what we have here. This is uh, interesting. You will soon. You will. You soon will need some support. Please appreciate it if you. If it is given. You soon. Will need some support. Please appreciate it if it is given. Wow. Okay. So. You soon will need some support. Please appreciate it if given. So, I don't know if this means a message to Katie. Katie, if you are watching this, possibly, you're going to be getting some, uh, me, uh, some kind of support. Something's going to come your way and give you some information that you need to maybe uh, appreciate. Is that possible? Or, I don't know. Maybe it's a reading to us, too. I don't know. Katie Proudfoot, if you're watching this. Okay. That's interesting, for sure. Yeah, it definitely. All definitely. Right. I will be trying to talk to you in the upcoming future. Wow, folks. I will be trying to talk to you in the upcoming future. What do you think that means, folks? Does that mean does that mean that Sebastian is going to try to talk to her? Uh, is there some sort of spirit that's going to be talking to us or to Katie? What do you think? Hmm. Oh, wow! I will be trying to talk to you in the upcoming future. That's crazy. Woo! All right, so there's our reading, folks. Here, that was. We'll go over this, but we have that's the five a good ones. That is a good reading. Yeah, they mail. Yeah, we don't know about the our mail. Fortune teller. Mm. And this is our, our spades here. Wow. This is interesting. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, spirits, you are now summons to go. You can go and leave my presence. I will request your presence again soon. Thank you so much for your presence. You are now allowed to leave. I would like for you to leave this session. Thank you so much. See, this Thank is you. this is how I do that. So there's that. So let's go to the screen here, folks. So what do we have? What do we have? We have, of course, we have our fortune teller, Madame uh, Delaty. And then, of course, we have the Five of Wands, and we have the Two of Spades. So, and then, of course, we have the blocks, and um, we have the messages. So, in these, in, in, in the, at the ending of this, I asked Marilyn, my, my uh, good friend, good psychic friend, which is 82 years old, and I asked her, I said, so, Marilyn, what what do you think? Does um does um does this show to you that uh, uh, Katie may know the whereabouts um, of Sebastian? And her answer now this is her answer, not mine. She said there is a there's strong evidence here that 
her and somebody else knows his location. And that's, she said it was a strong, she said she never 100% puts like, oh yeah, we know, you know. No, she said, but there's a strong presence here that um, Katie Prophet and somebody else knows the whereabouts or the situation of Sebastian Rogers. So, well, folks, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I appreciate you watching. If you all will, hit the like button on here. Subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed. And uh, we'll be doing another reading. I try not to do too many of these uh, within a short period of time. But um, I'm working on another one. And I think the next one I would like to try to... Uh, well, I'll keep it a mystery. So uh, keep looking out. Hit that subscribe button so you'll know when I do another reading. And folks, please be safe out there. If you have a loved one or a family member or a friend, go give them a hug. Because you just never know. Folks, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. And until next time, this is George. And we'll see you down the road. Bye-bye.